you guys. So in today's video, we are doing my absolute favorite thing. We are gonna be playing with makeup. In particular, I'm gonna be doing a New Year's Eve inspired look. We're literally just gonna be sitting here pretending like it's New Year's Eve. Cheers, guys. I'm having champagne at 1.24 in the afternoon, drinking by myself. Anyway, just gonna be creating a really cool makeup look that I think would be perfect for New Year's Eve, for either a festival or a night out, something nice and glam. And then I'm also gonna be pairing it with an outfit that I have. So this is really gonna be like a full get ready with me transformation for rave day. I hope you guys enjoy the tutorial. Everything I use will be listed down below in the description box so you guys can check that out. And if you guys are new here, I would absolutely love it if you would subscribe to my channel, um, give this video a thumbs up. It lets me know that you guys like more makeup tutorials. And I think that's all I have to say. So let's start with the makeup. Let's start playing around. I have a look in mind. Um, what I am gonna do is start with my eyes because this is a very glittery, smoky, dark look that I'm planning to do. So in case we uh, make any mistakes, we're gonna start with the eyes first, and I am gonna be using the Tati Beauty Palette. I have been obsessed with this. I can't stop using it ever since I got it. How amazing is that? There's this row of pressed glitters that you know we're dipping into, but in general, I'm gonna be using this really dark, smoky corner here um, because I've been playing with that a lot lately, and it turns out really beautiful. All right, so what I actually think I'm gonna do is go do one eye off camera just so I can like decide on what I'm gonna do and then I'll be right back and we will finish off the other eye and the rest of the face. All right, you guys, so this is where I'm at right now. I'm pretty happy with this, but like I said, it's a very like dark, smoky, kind of grungy eye and then we've got a little bit of pressed glitter on there. So this is how we're gonna do it. I have everything here. The first thing you're gonna do is I'm using a NYX like jumbo pencil. I love this. This is an eye pencil. This is in the black like black bean it's called, but it's like the darkest color. I use this as a base um, to stick the eyeshadow on top of because it's gonna make it look really, really nice and grungy. So I'm just running that along my lash line and then we're gonna kind of come up onto the lid. This is gonna be very messy, kind of like a thicker line, just like that. That should be enough. And then I'm just using a little brush. It's kind of like a little smudger side. I'm just gonna like start to blend that out Kind of like keeping it in place. I don't want to come too high with it, but I just want um, to blend the edges here and make sure I'm covering the entire lid. And you're gonna come up a little bit in the crease there. Okay, now the thing with like a black eye look is it's gonna look shit until it looks better. <laughs> it's always gonna look really messy until it comes together in the end, but I promise it's gonna look good. So then the next part I used just like a nice big flat eyeshadow brush and I'm dipping into the black. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with the darkest and we're gonna go to the lightest and I'll show you why. This black in the Tati Beauty palette is very pigmented but use whatever black shadow that you have. I'm basically just gonna be patting over that color and we're just gonna make it a little bit darker and this is gonna stick to the base there. So we're gonna have a very nice black smoky eye. And this is why we do the eyes first because if there's any fallout, we're gonna clean it up with a makeup wipe. But you're essentially just patting that over it right on the lid so the entire lid is covered. And then with whatever's left, I'm just gonna blend it up in the crease here so that um, you know this little bit of a mess is a little bit more blended. Okay, just like that. It can still look a little messy, that's okay. Then I'm gonna use a pretty dense um, packing brush and I'm gonna dip into a little bit of like the tan and the chocolatey brown, a little bit of both. And this we're gonna be stamping in place right on top of the crease there. So I just wanna put the color down. So right on the edge of where the black ends is where I'm stamping this on. You can see I'm sort of like creating a gradient. And then now I'm gonna just start to lightly blend them together. You wanna be careful because if you bring this up, you're gonna have black all the way up to your um, brow bone there and you don't wanna bring the black up. So you really are just trying to like melt those two edges into each other. Now I'm gonna take a very fluffy brush and I'm just gonna dip into the tan color. So it's again, lighter so we're gonna keep going and I'm gonna do the same thing I'm gonna go on the edge of the dark brown and just place that up there and buff these together so we're sort of going from a gradient from black to 
to dark brown to tan and really really take your time blending you guys like that's what this whole look is about it's very grungy very smoky you're basically coming up to your brow bone now I'm taking a super flat eyeshadow brush this has got a nice little curve to it I love this this is the morphe I don't know <laughs> and I'm dipping into um, the light matte shade here and I'm just coming right under my brow bone to lighten that up a bit this color is beautiful it's like perfect um, really light kind of bone color shade okay now right over that from the same row I'm going in with the metallic shade here it is Stunning. It's like the most beautiful highlighting color and we're gonna just go over the same spot because I want this to be a Metallic brow bone highlight because we're going for a very glam look so it's okay to go a little heavy Perfect now I'm going back in with my fluffy brush and a little bit of that tan color and just again Buffing that out. Okay now the next stage. So I'm gonna take a flat eyeshadow brush I'm gonna spray it. Where'd my spray go? <laughs> A little bit with fix plus or whatever setting spray you have and I actually went in with the metallic from the soothe column so it's this third color here it's a really pretty like bronzy gold shade and I'm gonna pop that right in the center of the eye because we're gonna go for like a nice halo eye effect kind of how that looks so wait till you see this like are you serious do you see how pigmented that metallic is so basically what I'm doing is I'm placing it in the center of my eye and I'm patting. Pat, 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 pat. And I'm gonna come over a little closer to the inner corner and a little closer to the outer corner, but really keeping it pretty central, like that. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a really tiny smudger brush and I'm gonna dip back into the black. Again, you don't need a lot, so just tap it off. And I'm gonna go over the outer corner and the inner corner to darken that up and to blend in the metallic. So I'm kind of like just tapping on the edges and blending that. We really just want the center to be like the most pigmented um, metallic. So adding more black to the outside. And if you need to add more metallic, I'm just gonna go with my finger and I'm just gonna pop it on the center there again. And blend that with my finger. You could always blend with your finger. It's the best tool to use. Okay, so now the fun part. So now we're dipping into my, probably my favorite glitter in the whole palette, which is the same column, the Soothe column, this pressed glitter. So I suggest using your fingers, you guys. You can use a brush, but there is a lot of fallout. Like I have glitter all over my face. Um, you're definitely gonna need to clean up using this palette. Be very careful that you keep your eyes closed. I have gotten this glitter in my eye and it hurts like a bitch. So be very careful when you're using pressed glitters. So I just take my pinky and I'm like lightly, lightly pressing. So I'm just gonna pop this on the direct center of my lid and really press it on right in the center where I want it. Isn't that insane? This is what I mean by I haven't stopped using this palette. Like these glitters are my favorite thing that I've ever used. They're so freaking stunning. Don't worry about fallout, we'll get that later. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some black eyeliner and I'm just gonna tight line my waterline and then I'm gonna line the top outer corner. I'm just sort of like pressing the liner in between my lashes a little bit. Cause we're gonna be putting some um, falsies on. Let's clean up our face a bit. So I just have makeup wipes here, super handy. They're always sitting next to me. I'm just gonna come up under my eye. And then on the outer corner here, I kinda wanna create like a nice little sharp line just to clean that up. And just get all this glitter off my face. I'm gonna go pop on my lashes and then I will be right back. Alrighty, lashes are on. I don't think I mentioned, these are the Flutter Lashes in the style Intoxicating. These were a Jaclyn Hill recommendation. They're definitely like glamorous and fluffy and big, which is perfect for this look, because you know, we, we're feeling glam. Okay, so face, I'm gonna try and blow through this. I'm using my Cover FX Mattifying Prom Primer with anti-acne treatment. This used to be like an oldie but a goodie. I was obsessed with this, um, especially when I was breaking out, I would use this. And I do have like a couple blemishes. So I'm just gonna put this on the center of my face, forehead, and chin. It's definitely like a more silicone feeling primer. It's still really good. It's like a thicker gel consistency, but if you're super dry, I would only use that if you're feeling like extra moisturized. Um, if you're oily, that's absolutely perfect. 
Okay, so foundation. I've been obsessed with this again lately. I picked this up and I can't stop using it. It's a Smashbox Studio Skin 15 Hour Wear Hydrating Foundation. I used to love this. Um, don't know why I stopped using it. I'm in the shade 2.1 right now. So what I do, um, I'm just gonna wet this because it's been sitting here. <laughs> Give a little extra hydration because it's winter we're dry i'm gonna do a one pump it doesn't pump out a lot that's the one thing like i feel like i have to use three solid pumps of this to cover my face but i'm just gonna start um in the center of my face and just blend this out but it's really buildable like i would say it's medium to full when you build it up you just definitely need to keep going in with more and more like pump number three already but it's a really, really nice foundation. And I'm obsessed with it because I noticed that it doesn't crease throughout the day. Like normally I, with probably every single one of my foundations except for two, this one and my L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Wear, I get creasing in my smile lines. Every single foundation sinks into that and will eventually crease, but these two do not. So I love, love, love that. And again, the coverage is pretty good, um, but I'm gonna use like a really full coverage concealer today, you guys. So I'm gonna cover like all my, all my pimples with that. Okay, but I'm happy with that. That's like a nice natural coverage. Is this like too bright, by the way? I don't know. Then I'm gonna do some cream contour um, concealer. I'm using the HD Studio. Then I'm gonna do some cream contouring. I'm using the NYX concealer, the HD Studio concealer, um, the shade CW08. Oh, nutmeg. And I'm just gonna put that a little bit around my forehead, down the sides of my face, tiny bit under there. We're trying to feel snatched. I don't use a lot on my nose because a little bit of this goes a very, very, very long way. <laughs> so you guys are about to see. So I'm gonna contour my nose, just push that down the sides there, and then we'll go in and clean that up after. You could use a beauty blender too for this part, but I just use a brush because it's fast. But this will give you like a nice bronzed look um, and a little a little bit more glam than just using a powder. I always do that, I put too much on my forehead, whoopsies. I have a pretty small forehead too, like this is definitely a good thing to do because it sort of like sh fakes that you have a smaller forehead, but I just put too much on my forehead, so no problem, just go in with your blender with foundation on it and clean that up a little. And I'm just tapping and blending up, always up. You don't wanna like muddy this area of your Jawline, we want elevated cheekbones. God, I'm like not having a good makeup day. Does that ever happen to you guys? I'm just like not feeling it <laughs> today, but that's okay. And right now I'm just using the beauty blender to just blend all that in, make sure it looks nice and cleaned up. And then I'm using my favorite concealer, the Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. I'm in the shade Nude. Put that right there on my nose chin where i want to highlight and then any blemishes i have again this is really really incredible coverage and it's like the most hydrating concealer you don't need a lot of it i'm actually almost out i need to refresh that okay we're gonna blend this in now yeah see that's perfect that's why i like don't go to ham with my foundation because this concealer really provides a lot of coverage you could like just put this concealer and use like um a darker color to cream contour and just call it a day. But let me know down in the comments, you guys, what um, what are you doing for New Year's? Are you going to a show? Are you going to a bar, to a house party? Are you doing nothing and sitting on your couch, which sounds amazing? <laughs> I feel like New Year's is one of those holidays where um, you either love it or you hate it. I was like never really the biggest fan. I feel like New Year's has a lot of like pressure associated with it. What's the plan? We have to have a really exciting plan. We have to do something fun. Oh, and then who's coming? Like, are there gonna be any people that you get your midnight kiss from? Like, it's so much pressure. So I used to do shows all the time. I did a bunch of shows in the city. Um, had some good experiences, had some really bad ones. And then I stayed home a couple years in a row. What else did I do? Um, and then I went to a bar, I think it was three years ago now, or is that four years ago? No, three years ago, 2016 into 2017. I did like a bar with like an open package. Um, I did a package with an open bar and like food in Hoboken, New Jersey, where I lived for a while. And um, I think some of you might know the story. That's where I met my boyfriend, Brian. We met on New Year's Eve. 
in Hoboken, which was awesome. So you never know, ladies. You might meet someone special on New Year's. <laughs> but again, no pressure. Okay, I'm just gonna clean up around my hairline because sometimes I get like foundation in my hair and I have dark brown hair, so that's a problem. So I just like to clean that up. All right, that gave me the coverage I wanted. Now I'm just gonna bake a little under my eye using the um, Maybelline Loose Setting Powder. I love this stuff. This is in Fair Light. Um, just because I want a nice like bright under eye. I usually use um just the light color. Packing that on here and we're just gonna come up under my eye to bake a little bit. Um, this is like setting the concealer because if you do have plans or you're going to a festival or you're going to a show, you don't want this to budge at all. I'll just take what's left and I set my smile lines because like I said, those crease. And then I'm gonna set my forehead a tiny bit because like if I get oily anywhere, it's like in my T-zone, so we'll set right here. And then I'm gonna take a big fluffy brush and just like brush that away, cause I don't like to let it sit too long. I'm just gonna let it sit under my eyes. All right, for bronzer today, I'm gonna use my Tarte Park Ave Princess um, palette, cause it's got some really nice bronze kinda shades in here and contouring shades, and this palette was expensive, and I need to use it more often. So I'm just gonna dip into some of uh, the darker shades. It's very pigmented though, I will say that, so go into the light hand. <laughs> and I'm just like um, very lightly patting that in and like dusting it across everywhere that I put the um, cream contour. But I don't wanna like move my foundation around or anything. Yeah, I put a lot of bronzer on. <laughs> yeah, like she's pigmented. But anyway, yeah, leave me a comment below what your plans are. If you guys are doing a festival, let me know what festival you guys are going to. I've never done a New Year's um, festival, but there's some really good lineups this year. Audio Autistic sounded amazing to me. I think Snow Globe looks really cool too, honestly. And if you ever feel like you go too ham with bronzer, just take your powder brush from before and sort of just like blend over everything. All right, for blush today, I wanted to keep it like very neutral because we have a lot going on with the eyes and I want to do a nude lip as well. So I'm using the Tarte Amazonian Clay Blush in Party. It's a really pretty neutral kind of pinkish blush. I already hit pan on it because it's that good. I just cleaned all my brushes, so I feel like I feel like a legit adult. I'm popping that on the outer corner above where my cream contour was, and then I'll do a tiny bit on the apple of my cheek. I like a lot of blush too. I like a lot of everything. But anyway, my plans. I didn't say my plans. I'm just doing a house party this year. Uh, one of our friends had a party last year uh, they bought a house last year, so it's kind of nice. It's like all of our friends in a house. We can just drink, we sleep over there, so we don't have to worry about it. We can play some beer pong, hang out, it's a good time. And then we can all just like cook and bring appetizers and like buffalo chicken dip and shrimp cocktail and like all that fun stuff and just like eat till our hearts are content. It's always the best feeling. But anyway, so that's what I'm gonna be doing, nothing crazy. But I am going to Eric Prince's hollow show on Sunday the 29th. So that's like my big thing. And then I have a wedding on the 28th. It's a huge wedding. I have Brian's birthday on the 27th and we're doing a surprise party for that. So it's a very busy weekend. So I'm, I'm gonna just enjoy a laid back um, New Year's Eve. <laughs> All right, before we go any further, I'm just gonna brush away the bakage. And again, cause I'm dry, I always take my like damp or whatever's left of it, beauty blender, oh, feels so good. And I just press that powder in and I kind of just do it everywhere because uh, I think it really pushes the product into your face and it gives back a little bit of hydration, which is nice. Okay, I wanna finish off my under eye. I'm gonna keep it pretty simple. I'm gonna start with the tan shade and I'm just gonna like smudge that out under my eye here. And then, ooh, this is coming together. Again, very pigmented, so you don't need a lot. So I'm just gonna come under here, smudge that out. I can't wait to show you my little uh, festival outfit. This is what I would be wearing if I was going to a New Year's festival. And then I'm gonna dip into, where's my brush? The like dark chocolatey brown and the tiniest little bit of black and I'm gonna come right under my lash line and smudge that in. I'm like focusing it in the outer corner too. I really wanna build up the um, intensity out there. Also side note, has anyone seen the new Star Wars movie? Because I bought tickets to go see it tomorrow by myself. <laughs> I'm not really friends with anybody that's into it and I was like, you know what? I just wanna know how it ends. So I watched The Last Jedi last night. I had seen The Force Awakens in theaters and I really liked it. Okay, and I'm gonna go back in actually with more of that tan shade because I kind of want to build it up a little bit more. I'm gonna use a fluffier brush though. And I'm really gonna like, yeah, nice big fluffy brush. I kind of want to blow that out. 
there's just something nice about a really blown out smoky eye and under lower lash line pretty okay i'm gonna take that um metallic shade from earlier and i'm gonna pop that in the inner corner because when do i not have an inner corner inner corner highlight i just realized i forgot to contour my nose we're gonna come back to her i'm just gonna snatch a rooney there this isn't the normal way I would do it because I would normally do it when I have the baking powder on it to like snatch it even more, but we're gonna try. Now we gotta buff that all in so you don't see the line. I'm gonna spray my face first with the Morphe setting spray because this I find, one, smells heavenly, and two, this one really like melts all your makeup together and it just looks like flawless. And then I'm gonna use something else to like really set it in and lock it in. Cause again, I'm pretending that I'm gonna go sweat and dance all night. So let's use this first. It's literally the finest, most refreshing mist of a spray I've ever used. Um, my thing is I could just use so much of it because it feels like you're not putting a lot on. Um, so I go through those quickly. That's my second bottle that I just bought. So anyway, that's why I try not to use too much of it because I want to save it for like special occasions. Um, I'm going to line my bottom lash line now with a black liner. I also am going to take mascara and I didn't do this before but I'm gonna brush my lashes into my falsies so that they all sort of melt together Oop. oh and highlighter okay for highlighter I actually wanted to use the morphe babe in paradise this is a collab with Bretman rock it's really good um, it's really nice actually because they have some darker colors so if you have a deeper skin tone this would be beautiful um, I usually stick to what is it these two here uh, vacation and get laid <laughs> this palette is no fucking joke it's so so good so i'm just gonna dip into both of them and this is my favorite highlighting brush the morphe 510 and i'm just gonna sweep that this is a really nice like golden shade on the top of my cheekbone and then high points in my face do you see that then what i do so it's not too crazy i take my blush brush and i'm just gonna pat over that Highlight my nose. I need to find the lighting. That's pretty much almost everything. I'm gonna quickly um, do my brows with my little ColourPop pencil. So let me go do these and I'll be right back. Okay, brows are snatched. Now let me just do my lips. Um, I'm gonna just put a balm on really quick because my lips get super dry. Okay, I'm gonna use my favorite LA Girl uh, Precision, I can't talk, Precision Lip Liner in the shade Bare. And I'm just gonna line my lip. This is such a good pencil and such a good color too. It's like a neutral brown. I think this is like $3.99. Mm, such a good shade. You could fill in your whole lip with that too. It's a really pretty color. And then I just bought the bigger size because it's my favorite nude lipstick. This is the Bite Beauty um, shade in Honeycomb. Ooh, she's a pretty neutral, nudie pink. Beautiful, it smells really good. And just for shits and gigs, we're gonna throw a gloss on top. This is the Lorac Times Rachel Zoe collection. It's beautiful, it's called Ginger Blonde. It came with a whole set, a lip liner, a lipstick, and a lip gloss, and I have not stopped using it. How juicy is she? Mm -mm -mm. Okay, I'm gonna spray my face one more time and then I just have to put mascara on my lower lash line. And then I think that's it. So for long lasting, I have a couple options. MAC Fix Plus is incredible. The Catrice Prime and Fine um, Dewy Setting Mist is really good. And then I love the Milani Make It Last. So I think I'm gonna spray with this. This is a great drugstore option. Okay, so I know I said before that I'm having a bad makeup day, but I just went and looked in my other mirror and this looks so snatched. <laughs> but this is what the final look looks like. So anyway, you guys, I hope you enjoyed. I'm gonna go pop on my outfit as if I were going out tonight just to show you what that would look like and then we will close out the video. So this whole set is from Freedom Ravewear. How cute is this? It zips up in the back, which I really like. Then it's got this little tie in the front and the little cutout shoulders. But if I was going to a festival, I would 100% be wearing this. You've got the nice long sleeve to keep you nice and warm. Um, and then the little shorts have ties on the side. 
love this how cute is this and i feel like this is just like super cute and sparkly and bright and it's like absolutely perfect for a new year's style festival so this is what i would be wearing and again this is from freedom wave where i'll leave this down below this video is not at all sponsored by the way they sent me this like a while ago and i never had anything to use it to and yeah so i'm gonna be wearing this top to the eric prids hollow show in the city with some like high-waisted jeans i think because i do want to get some uh uh, some use out of this because it's so fucking cute so anyway you guys that is my full get ready with me for new year's i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial again please subscribe if you guys are new here and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it again comment down below your new year's eve plans i want to know what you guys are up to and i hope that you all have a very happy and safe holiday season and you enjoy your new year's i will see you in my next video peace